Look, why don't you get off to hospital and I'll sort this lot out. Selfish cow, aren't I? Can't believe what I've done to you. It was me that caused the accident. And let you take all the blame. Babes, babes, come on. We're both to blame, and that's the truth. Put this way, neither of us have to spend years locked in a win. I don't like this. You sure you're right about what will happen? I promise, Chloe. If we both say we've done it, we both get off. Because we're cancelling each other out, that's what the law says. I'm gonna top myself if I have to stay in here. I love you, Dante. I promise I'm gonna do this. As soon as we get out of here, me and you are going to get engaged. Engaged? I'm too young, aren't I? You don't say we're going to get hitched. That can happen when you're 16. Why are you saying you don't want to? No, I just wasn't expecting it. Yeah, well, there's a lot of things you're going to get you won't expect. See the outside, yeah? Okay, maybe you won't wake up dead. <laughs> sir! Sir, what happens to a bash you on the head? <laughs> Andrew. I want to work with you, Seven. The rest of you, off the premises. Now! Perhaps you think you put one over on me. What? I know you threw that brick. Someone threw a brick at you, sir. Now, why would somebody do that? It's not against the rules to have fun, is it? Just get yourself off home, Lewis, all right? Scram. It was him that stopped me, miss. I thought you were going to hit him, then. I almost bloody well did. What's happening to me, Kim? I have never in my entire career even thought of hitting him. I have. In fact, I fantasised about it, so don't be so hard on yourself. I did exactly what he wanted me to do. I let him get to me. Right, Lewis said and we'll be dealt with. OK, so just get yourself in the car. Just drop me off then. I don't want to keep you from your boyfriend. Uh, sorry? Christopher? He's my brother, he's not my boyfriend. Oh. Sorry, I thought. Are you going to show up now? Tom, can you just listen to what I've got to say? No. It was the most difficult decision I've ever had to make in my life. Mine was marrying Lorna. If you remember, I discussed it with you first. You told me to go ahead and do it. Fine. Make me out to be the bad one, but the truth's a whole lot different. The truth? No one tells me the truth about anything. Tom, before you married Lorna, you told me you loved me. Then Lorna tells me she's having your baby. Then she says she's having an abortion. Think about it. If I'd have told you that, you might have split up, and then I'd have to live with the guilt. You're doing me, Eddie. Yeah? Well, you and Lorna are doing mining, so just leave me out of it. Oh, you made it. Come on, all the way from the bus stop. I don't know why you keep going back to him. Because he's the best. Dante wants us to get engaged. <laughs> don't be stupid. You're 14. Hey, there's no law that says you can't get engaged. Yep. We want everyone to know that we're a couple. You said yes to it. 
Oh, Mum is going to go ape. Why do you keep getting on her nerves? Gran never liked Dad, did she? But it never stopped Mum from being with him, did it? And what if Dante goes to prison? Well, then I'll wait for him. Chloe, you're being daft. It, it isn't a proper marriage if your husband's in prison. Not everything's about sex, Mika. I'm worried our Mum's going to take this, Chloe. Don't tell her then. I expect you to still be here. Well, lucky for you, I was working late, as usual. I'm after your coursework. Oh, coursework, schmorse work. Heaven preserve us from league tables, eh, Jack? Now, tell me the real reason you're here, because I am prepared to drop my plans like that if you're angling for a date. Is it in there? Well, for goodness sake, Jack, why can't it wait till Monday morning? I was just about to leave. You're not going to have much of a weekend if you take all that lot home. We're going to be here all night, aren't we? Well, to tell you the truth, yes, we are. I'm, um, not exactly the best filer in the world. In fact, if you found a family of gerbils living in there, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> but if you've got a few hours... ...then maybe we can have a little late-night snack after. Just make sure you get them to a cell by Monday morning, all right? Not a problem. Listen, you want to say anything to her about me and Dan, do you? Come on then, girls. Let's go out and have a fantastic night together. Mum, well, you know when people say sorry and they don't mean it? Mm-hmm. Well, I really, really do. Mm. Let's go and pig out. Can we just go home instead? Oh, if that's what you'd rather. Club. I uh, think I found a civilised way for us to proceed we can both get out of this marriage and stay friends. That is, if you're not too angry with me. What do you mean? No more lies, Tom. So we've just got to be grown up and... Oh. No, don't. I'm fine. This is the only thing I've ever done that's been any good for us. See, I thought that if we each take a share of the bills until the house is sold and then... Sell the house? Unless you want to buy me out, of course, which is fine by me. Well, you just have a think and let me know when I get back. Back from where? I'm going to my mum's for the weekend. I'm taking the car, if that's all right. Don't you think we should talk about this now? No, Tom. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry too, Lorna. I better get going. You take care. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Mm -hmm. Did you ever love Dad? For real? Of course. Well, then why did you never get married? I just didn't really fancy it. Been given away by my dad. Disgusting, really, when you think about it. Maybe one of us will get married. Mm. Not me. Not till about 50, anyway. <laughs> nah, good for you, Mika. Right. Catch. Oh. <laughs> I've just posted you a check for the car locks. There's a five in it for each of the girls and all. Not enough for a decent pair of tights, but it's a start. <laughs>